I'm Commander Exegius, and today we'll be looking at tourist sightseeing missions from Rubigo Mines. This small outpost, 436 light years from Seoul, offers VIP sightseeing missions to the nearby Cirrus Atmospherics tourist beacon in Sothis. These missions pay between roughly 1 and 5 million credits and offer excellent Grade 5 engineering materials and data. As Remigo Mines is an outpost, it only offers a medium-sized pad. As such, the most efficient ship to use is the multi-role wonder, the Python. Starting with outfitting, you'll want to stuff it full of passenger cabins with a mix of business class and economy. As you'll likely be jumping for a while to reach Rubigo, you'll want to start with a class 5 fuel scoop, which you'll swap for a business cabin in the nearby CO system before you begin your runs. Complete your outfitting for jump range with D-Class thrusters, life support, and sensors, and a D-Class distributor. I'll include a build in the description below. When you're ready, head out to CEOs to swap your fuel scoop, then head to Rubigo Mines in Rubigo. Once you arrive, you'll be checking the passenger lounge for VIP missions to Cirrus Atmospherics. Given you'll have a maximum of 9 cabins, and each group will require their own, you shouldn't have any trouble filling your ship without board hopping. Once all your passengers are on board, head out to Sothis and set your heading toward the closest Earth-like, Planet 5, as the tourist beacon Cirrus Atmospherics is in orbit. As it is nearly 1700 light seconds away, it won't show in your navigation computer until you're within 1000 light seconds. When you arrive at the beacon, simply drop in, target it, and allow your ship to scan it. While scanning, go ahead and plot a route back to Rubigo so you can jump quickly. As it's likely you'll be carrying criminals, you won't want to stay around for long. Once scanned and your passengers have had their look, jump back to Rubigo. When you land at Rubigo Mines, open the passenger lounge and collect your rewards. If you are not yet allied with the mission givers, I suggest taking maximum reputation in lieu of credits, as when allied you'll be offered higher paying missions. Using these missions, you should be able to make about 60 million credits an hour, or a bit less if you choose the rather valuable Grade 5 engineering materials. While these missions require a roughly 70 million credit Python, they are not only an excellent way to earn credits, but to also gain exploration rank. Tourist missions earn exploration rank at approximately one-fifth that of system scanning, meaning it would take about 1.5 billion credits earned to attain elite in exploration. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching. If you found that tutorial helpful and need credits, I hope you'll check out my playlist on earning credits and that you'll join me on my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays, and the Creators Roundtable each Friday, and that you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon. <laughs>